So today we will discuss about the metals. So the definition of metals. So any strong and relatively ductile substance that provides electropositive ions to a corrosive environment and that can be polished to a high luster is called as a metals. Classification of the metals. So metals uh, may be classified into two basic group. One is a ferrous metal and second one is a non-ferrous metals. So the metals for which it is the combination of ferrous that is iron and carbon that is called as a ferrous metals and uh, ferrous or iron is acts as a base metal or iron metal or matrix metal. Then in non-ferrous metals, the other than iron, other alloying element, it is acts as a base metal. So such a metal is called as a non-ferrous metals. So the examples of ferrous metals are steel and cast iron. And for non-ferrous metals, it is a copper, aluminum, manganese, magnesium, cobalt, etc. Now metals are sometimes described as a lattice of positive ions surrounded by a cloud of delocalized electrons. So the this is again my definition of metals. So metals are sometimes described as a lattice of positive ions surrounded by the cloud of electrons. On the periodic table, a diagonal line drawn from bottom B to polonium PO separates the metal from the non-metals. So here, the periodic table is given, which clearly shows the metals and non-metals. So in dent dentistry, metal represents one of the four major classes of materials used for reconstruction of decades, damages or damaged or missing teeth. Although metals are easy to distinguished from ceramics, polymers, composites, they are not easy to define. Then chemical properties of the metals. So here metals are usually inclined to form cations through electron loss. They react with oxygen in the air to form oxides, irons, that is the iron rust over the years while potassium burns in seconds. The transition metals such as iron, copper, zinc and nickel take a much longer time to oxide or oxidize. Other like the palladium, platinum and gold do not react with the atmosphere at all. Sometimes metal form a barrier layer of oxide on their surface, which cannot be penetrated by further oxygen molecules and thus retain their shiny appearance and good conductivity for many decades like aluminum, some types of steels and titanium. The oxides of metals are generally basic as opposed to those of non-metals, which is acidic. Physical properties of the metals. The metals in general have good electrical, thermal conductivity, the industry and density, and the ability to be deformed under stress without cleaving.
Next, metals have a high fracture toughness when compared to ceramic, polymer, and composites. The fracture toughness of most metal varies between 25 to 60 megapascal compared with the range of 0.75 to 2.5 megapascal. Then conductivity. One of the chief characteristics of a metal is its stability or ability to conduct heat and electricity. Such energy conduction is associated with the mobility of free electrons present in the metal. Then density. The high density of most metal is due to the tightly packed crystal lattice of the metallic structure. So, gallium and mercury elements that are commonly used as alloying element in dental alloys are liquid at room temperature. Metals are generally resistant to chemical attack, but some metals require alloying element to resist tarnish and corrosion. The next is the metallic bonds. So the metallic bonding is the electromagnetic interaction between delocalized electrons called conduction electrons and the metallic nuclei within the metals. So understood as the sharing of free electrons among a lattice of positively charged ions. The metallic bonding accounts for many physical properties of metals such as strength, malleability, ductility, thermal and electrical conductivity, opacity and luster. The nature of metallic bonding is the combination of two phenomena gives rise to metallic bonding delocalization of electrons and the availability of a larger number of delocalized energy states than of localized electrons. The latter could be called as electron deficiency. So metallic bonding is found in metal like zinc. So in diagram you can see the two metal or two ions positive ions of Zn that is zinc and electrons. So the two ions can be bound with each other. So that is called as a metallic bonding. Next is alloys. So the definition of alloys are the materials made up of more than one chemical element, at least one of which must be a metal. So the alloy is the combination of the two or more metals in which one is a purely metal and second may be the metal or maybe the non-metal. So whenever alloying elements are added to the uh, one of the base metal, that is a solvent and solute, it will form a uh, homogeneous mixture of new material. So that is called as a alloys. For example, a small amount of carbon is added to iron to form a steel. A certain amount of chromium is added to iron and carbon to form a stainless steel, an alloy that is highly corrosion resistant. Although pure gold is highly corrosion resistant, copper is added to enhance its strength. <clears throat> so thank you for watching here introduction of the metal set alloys.